Hi guys. So this presentation is on professional presentation. How do you do a professional presentation? Presentation. First thing you need to realize is a presentation is not a PowerPoint slide. Okay. A presentation is an idea you are trying to get out to people. Because a presentation is when you're trying to sell someone a car, or you're trying to sell someone a house, you're trying to get someone to invest in your company, you're presenting your idea. That's the presentation. That idea you're trying to sell, to get across to people. And there's different ways you can get across. And those PowerPoint slides, that's one part of it. Now, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to talk about PowerPoint slides till the end here, because that's how unimportant they are. You need to make sure you have an idea you're trying to get across. So what are you going to do? The first thing, when you need to organize your presentation, you're going to ask three questions. Why, what, and who. First, I start with why. Why am I giving this presentation? Okay? Am I trying to provide information? Am I trying to sell something? Why is that? And you keep asking yourself why. Okay, I'm, I'm doing information. Why? Because I want my students to know something. Why? Because I want them to be successful. Why? Because to be the best economic faculty in Portugal, we have to have the best students and we have to give them the best jobs. So you do this why, it helps you focus down, to focus on the what, and the second question of the three. What is it you want to say? What is your message? And what you need to realize is people can only understand, you give a presentation, people can focus on maybe four or five main points, and then their brain just shuts down. No matter how smart they are, with the four or five points, their brain shuts down. Okay? So, you figure out the what, those four or five things you want to get across, and you fit, that's what you focus on. And once you have those two, you move to the who. You look at who am I going to be talking to? Am I talking to students? Am I talking to professionals? Am I talking to senior, senior citizens? What is it? And you change your approach of how you get that what across to them. Because how I get a what across to you guys, my students, is different than how I get a what across to my boss. Okay? Same information, but there's different ways you go about it. You have to look at that. All right? Now, also with the who, you should look at it Always look at what's in it for them. Try to give add value to them so they can understand why it's important for them to pay attention. Okay? A little helpful hand. Now, another little structure of your presentation, think of bomber. B O M B E R. Bang, opening, message, bridge, examples, recap. Okay? Presentation, you want people to pay, you know, your presentation, you want people to pay attention at the beginning. So you got to do something to get their attention. You know, whether it's a joke or something, you know, you do something to get their attention so they focus on you. Hey, I'm talking here. Listen to me. Because once you get them, then they're locked in. Oh, 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 that guy's talking. Boom. You've got their eyes on you. And that's what you want. Because you're presenting. You want them focused on you. You shouldn't be nervous. Because that's what you're there for. You're to get that idea out to them. Okay? So you got the bang, you grab them. Then you have your opening. What are we going to talk about today? You list the things you're going to talk about so people know. Because if they know what you're going to talk about, they can find a point they're going to more focus on. They might develop questions and say, oh, yeah, that second thing he's going to talk about. I really want to know more about that. Also, for really evil things, people use it as a checklist. Okay, he's got one point done, two point, one point left, and we get to go home. Yay! Okay. Then, you have your messages. You know those four or five you come up with, those what? So you have those messages. And you need a bridge. Some way connect that message to the people, okay? Whether it's your slide presentation, whether it's you telling, uh, giving examples to them, having them work through something, you do something so they can understand the message. You bridge it to them. And it could be examples, that's the E, okay? Use lots of examples so people can connect. And then the R is recap at the end. Tell them the most important thing. Because sometimes, I'm sure all of you students pay attention to my class all the time. But it's nice, you know, at the end you give a recast, so it says, this is what you learned today. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, and it makes it helpful. Now, time is a very important thing. Do not mess up with time in your presentation, because no one wants to sit there forever. Prior to your presentation, you know how to cut it in half in time. Because sometimes there might be a problem with the computer, sometimes people might come late, or the people before you end late, they take up time. Hey, you might have to cut it short. So make sure you know the most important things and make sure you can get those out in half the time. So you have more time than you can expand. Make sure you can give it right to them. Because no one's going to complain, oh, you only made it stay for 15 minutes, not for 30. Yeah, I don't think you guys complain if I let you out early. All right. Now, when you give presentations, you only have one weapon. OK? 
okay? Whether you're the tiniest little girl or the biggest guy, or vice versa, your voice. Your voice is your weapon that you can use, okay? And when you present, you need to project. Speak louder. Get the old lady in the back corner so she can hear. What? You can get to her. Articulate your words. Pronounce the words you want to say. Because if you don't open your mouth, the words can't come out. Sometimes people get up, they get nervous. They mumble. Open your mouth. Modulate your voice. Up and down, up and down. Because if you talk like this the whole time, it gets kind of boring, and then people don't really know what's going on. Ugh. Modulate up and down. Also, repetition, the main point you want to talk about. Best economics faculty in Portugal. Best economics faculty in Portugal. I've said it so many times in class, I don't even know if I was joking the first time. My brain doesn't get it. All right? And then speed. Okay, the speed at which you talk. The faster you talk, oh my God, he's talking really fast. He must have turned the point. I know he's going to say, oh my God, blah, blah, blah. Get people excited, then you slow down. And now. use these as your weapon. All right. Now, one more thing I want to talk about. When you're doing your PowerPoint presentations, okay, another little thing is called flick. Okay, first is frame. Use a standard PowerPoint slide frame. Use one of the templates, something. Have your company logo on the bottom or your team name on the bottom of the corner, something like that. So over and over again, they see that it's Team X is doing this project. Team X is doing this project. Boom, you hit them again and again. So they remember who you are. Okay? And also, if you use a template, then it looks more professional. Just white, uh, black letters, and you look like you don't care. Like some of my presentations. But that's because I don't want you guys to waste ink, because I care. Next, use large letters. You get it too small, people in the back can't read. Okay? Make it difficult. Use images and illustrations. You know, if you say, oh, you can see that. Mark, our market share has increased. Show a graph. People like pictures. They like graphs. They like, ooh, that's nice. They like pictures. They will make sure it relates and so people can understand. And remember that words are not visual aids. Color. Okay? The color of your slides, you don't want to have, you know, a white background with light blue letters. You can't read it. Or a black background with blue letters. You can't read it. Okay, make sure the colors complement. And don't do 10,000 colors. Pick two or three colors, and that's it. All right? And the last part is kids. Keep it simple, stupid. If you keep the presentation simple, people can follow it, and everyone can understand, and it makes it easier for people to get it. You want to make it more complicated, they can ask you questions about the complicated things. If you keep it simple, you're going to be okay. All right? So... Last thing I'm going to say is for your presentation, prepare, 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 because you never know what could happen. The power, the slides, the projector might not work, you know, people might show up, the door might be locked, who knows? Okay, it's happened to us all. Have an extra pen drive, have it memorized, so you can do it yourself, whatever. So, good luck with any presentations you may have.